welcome back friends to my channel if you haven't yet subscribed to it you can subscribe comment and share the video so in this lesson we are going to consider specimens and the appropriate containers that are used to collect each specimen so as you can see from the list here we have blood sample stool sample yielding sample sputum urogenital sample and biops let's begin by considering a yellow tube a yellow tube it has an additive known as acid citrate dextrose which is a clot activator and gel for separating serum from cells but it doesn't have any anticoagulant anticoagulant is an additive that prevents blood from clotting but with this it has a clotting activator then red top container it is a plain container without any additive it is used to promote blood clotting so that serum is obtained serum is used for various tests such as glucose cholesterol triglyceride high density lipoprotein potassium we have also creatinine kinase which is an enzyme it is also used in blood bank for close matching then a green top container it has an additive which is anticoagulant which can have sodium or lithium heparin so this is used to obtain plasma when it is centrifuged so the only difference between plasma and serum is that serum is obtained when the blood clots then plasma when the blood is not clotted the additive found in green top container it also prevent clotting by inhibiting thrombin and prothrombin this makes it suitable to use for chemistry testes in a paper top container it has an additive known as edta this additive it is an anticoagulant which prevents blood from clotting it is mostly used in hematological testing which is esla fbc or differential count cyclin test and solubility it can also use to make a blood fume such as a thin fume and also a thick fume if you want to identify the malaria parasite it can be used for lechicrocyte and more other the next one is the gray top container which has an additive potassium oxalate and sodium fluoride sodium fluoride it acts as an anti-glycolytic agent which prevents further glycolysis or the breakdown of glucose and also potassium oxalate it is used to deactivate calcium which prevents now the blood from clotting a green top container it is the most suitable container to determine glucose level because it prevents glycolysis a light blue container it has an additive sodium citrate sodium citrate binds and move calcium to prevent blood from clotting it is used for coagulation which is the thrombin time any tube that removes calcium it is not used for electrolyte because calcium is part of an electrolyte as a result it can demonstrate calcium a black container it has an additive sodium citrate this additive it also removes calcium by forming salt so a black tube it is mostly used for pediatric ESR so in this series of um, practical lessons you will see how each test is done now culture blood bottle we have three types of culture blood bottle we have the red one the blue and the yellow blue for aerobic then the red for anaerobic the yellow one is for pediatric sample blood culture bottles contain culture media that allows microorganism to grow multiply if there is and the sample is obtained it is placed in an incubator now it's a stool sample container stool can be collected in any clean container as long as it can be sealed but this spoon screw cup as shown in the diagram is the most ideal one which can be used to easily obtain the specimen please friends if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel please subscribe share comment and like my video now it's healing and sputum sample sputum and urine they have almost the same container the only difference is the labeling only use the container that is sterile and clean for sputum it should be open only when putting the specimen to reduce the contamination contaminating others which is known as close contamination just like i said urine and sputum 
the containers are almost the same but the only difference is the labeling urogen to specimen tube it has amis gel agar which is a transport media it is mostly used to detect bacterial vaginosis trachomonas vaginalis and candidiasis and most of the samples that are obtained and are not processed immediately it requires a transport media thank you friends for watching don't forget to subscribe thank you